Hey, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing some testing on the wires. I've recently run into some things where I was making, you know, multiple cables and had some internal resistance readings that were different across smaller wire and larger wire that conflicted what I thought I knew about cables and their wire types. So what I'm going to do is I got a whole bunch of 1-0 wire. I have Windy Nation, I have some Down for Sound wire, I have Sky High Car Audios 1-0. Um, I have EB Flex in here, um, which is the wire that I generally tend to use, which is welding cable. Uh, so is the Windy Nation, it's also welding cable. But then I also have uh, new concepts. I have their 1-0 Colossus. Um, I have, then I have two types of CCA cable, just to see. And these tests have been done a million times where people weigh the copper in them and compare them. What I'm actually going to do is measure the resistance of the wires. Um, because there's a lot of differences in the quality of copper. 0.05% uh, arsenic, for instance, can lower the conductivity of uh, copper by over 15%, and it's even worse with a little bit of phosphorus. So if there's any impurities in this cable, you know, it makes it cheaper to manufacture if you don't worry about that, but it does have a fairly large impact on the resistance of each of these wires. So. Um, we're going to test all this wire today and compare the results. I have a list here and I'm just going to keep track of it. So, I'm going to get the, the wiring prepared. Okay, so I'm going to hook each end up to one of these distribution blocks and I'll be testing it at the same spot on the distribution blocks every time. And we will measure the total internal resistance should be able to see it there and go ahead and collect the data on each wire. So we'll just go straight down this list. Um, the first that we have set to test is the Windy Nation. So this is welding wire. It's pretty inexpensive. So um, let's go ahead and get it hooked up. Point seven milliohms. And these lengths are forty eight inches long each. Next, I'll be doing the down for sound wire. Okay. So we're testing the down for sound wire. I think we have point six two. Next, we have the Sky High Card Audio.
point five five to five four. So we'll just leave that as point five four. <coughs> Next up, we have the, the EB Flex welding wire. The EB flex. Point six six. Okay, new concepts called losses wire. Oh, point five six. Next, I'm going to try New Concepts Basic. This is CCA cable. One point O two milliohms. Point eight zero on the overstuffed CCA cable. Uh, about point eight two. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so we're actually going to test one more here. Um, I was talking about the test that I was doing on a Facebook group that I belong to, and a lot of people requested to do for me to do 2O welding wire. Um, this is 2-0 OFC EB Flex welding wire. Um, it is still substantially cheaper than the 1-0 from Sky High, so um, actually the 4-0 of EB is even cheaper than Sky High. So we figured, you know, since this is still cheaper, let's go ahead and test the 2-0 uh, welding wire and see how it compares to the 1-0 wires. Got my list here. Point five. It's about point five four. Okay, so funny enough, the EB2O came out to be exactly the same as the Sky High Car Audio. Um, you know, this is 2O versus 1-0, so is it a fair comparison? Eh, I don't know. But I do know that the Sky High is currently over $6, and the EB Flex is about $4.30 currently. Um, so this is almost 1.5 times more expensive. Um, but it's also more flexible. It's tinned. Um, so yeah, here's our stats. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to create, create something so you can visualize what these numbers mean against how much current. So I'll be, you know, building out a simulation where if we're using 20 feet of this, what's that mean? You know, going back from the front to the back and checking out what kind of voltage drop we have because with these numbers we will know exactly how much voltage we should lose because of the wiring and yeah so we'll check that out now okay so here's what things look like after doing the math and figuring out what impact the impedance has on system performance it's important to remember that this is actually the impedance result and not the resistance so while the two values are similar and directly proportional to one another, the DC resistance is always going to be higher than your AC impedance. This means that these values can be viewed as a minimum level of voltage drop, 
but in real world use, you're likely going to see slightly higher voltage drop than is estimated here. Some interesting things to note in these results. The quality of the wire is massively important. Not all 1.0 copper wire is created equal, and it's not even close. As an example, if you're using Windy Nation versus Sky High wire, you're going to see over 1.3 times the voltage drop. Something else I wasn't expecting is that the worst copper wire we tested was actually closer to the overstuffed aluminum wire from New Concepts than it was to the best copper wire from Sky High. Overstuffed New Concepts aluminum wire only has about 13% more impedance than the Windy Nation welding wire. So there are two clear winners if you're looking for the best performance. Sky High 1.0 and EB Flex 2.0 both measured the same with approximately 0.135 milliohms per foot. That said, the EB Flex 2.0 does cost about 20% less, so if that's a factor, the winner becomes obvious. With all of this discussed, if cost is a factor in your build, nothing is even going to come close to the value of the new concept's basic CCA. For about the cost of a single run of the 2.0 EB Flex and less than the cost of the Sky High, you can use four runs of the basic cable and support over twice the amount of current and still have approximately the same level of voltage drop. I'm not personally a fan of aluminum wiring, but I know a lot of folks who swear by it and the math does support the logic. There are other factors to consider, of course, but this video isn't for jumping down the rabbit hole of the pros and cons of aluminum versus copper. And that's about all for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on what you'd like to see next, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our batteries at www.glowvoltage.com if you're looking for by far the best deals on any car audio batteries around. Thanks for watching.